Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, if it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much, welcome back. I am on today to introduce our fall winter 2425 catalog that will be launching this coming Sunday. Happy Friday today. So you have till midnight tomorrow night, Saturday night, to put any bars in your club that are gonna be leaving the catalog. On my community page here, I have the list of all the bars that are leaving the spring summer catalog. We don't know what's coming back, we never know. So if there's a bar you love, start a club. Um, there's so many perks with the club. The one perk is you could start a club and you can cancel it with zero, um, well, zero anything, like you won't, oh, you could do a club one month and then cancel it without any penalties. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, so, yeah, and then with the club, you get 10% off, you get to build up uh, reward points. I have my reward points that automatically just go to my club every month, so I get more than 10% off. I get um, off, like, whatever my points are from my clubs every month. I don't even look at it anymore because I don't have to. I put my rewards to automatically go to my clubs. So with that said, um, Sunday is September 1st, so we have a lot of launches happening. Um, one is our new catalog. I have all these new catalogs that I'm going to be sending out to my customers. Um, next week is my daughter's engagement party on Saturday the 7th. So I plan the week after that to start getting these out to everybody along with some samples. So um, if you're not a customer of mine and you have a consultant, just ask your consultant. If you don't have anything or you're just interested in the catalog, if you PM me on Facebook, um, your address, not even your address, you have to give me your address, give me your email, I can email it to you. So then you can download it and have it on your computer. So I've been doing that for my customers too, just emailing it to them. They download it and have it on their computer, but I did buy the catalog, so I still will stick them in. Um, so yeah, our catalog looks, I really haven't even thoroughly looked through it yet. Um, but for tonight, I am going to just go over some new scents that we have. And, um, okay, so where do I begin? So I got the, the, I got like 25 new catalogs here. And then I got my testers. So this is what I'm going to be sending out to my customers. These are my our samples and I get them in all the different scents. Am I holding this up upside down? I am. Which one did I grab out? Dutch apple bread. So this is what I'm going to, I send. So that's a nice warm or two warms. You could cut you, these pop out and you can cut it in half and you put it in like two warmers in your bedroom or in a bathroom warmer to see if you like it and want more. So I send a bunch of these to each of my customers. And um, yeah, so I have all the scents that are in the catalog. Any of my customers that are watching, if you want me to, for now, until you get your catalog, which will be like the week of the ninth, um, I'll be getting them out. I'll probably not start working on them till like my daughter's engagement party is September 7th, that Saturday. I'm going to need a break that Sunday and probably Monday because next week is wild um, with the, everything we're doing to get ready for that. So probably like that Wednesday, Thursday that week, I'll start making up all my Happy Mail packages and have them out by the following Monday, which will be like September, the mid-September, like this 15th, 16th area. So if you want me to upload you a catalog, let me know. I'll gladly do it. If there's certain scents you're like, I want to try that. I don't want to buy it yet. Just let me know and I will include it in your happy mail. So these are all, all the scents that are in the new catalog. I get this every year, at twice a year, every time the catalog changes over, I grab this so that I can send out samples. 
I'll tell you what, what I did get. I'm gonna put the catalogs aside here and we'll talk. So this is our harvest collection. Comes in this cute bag. You get five bars. I think it's $25. I can't find it on my workstation anymore. I, I don't, I only see it on our Sensi, um, a, a page I'm on, but she's not giving me the price. She's only giving us all the scent descriptions and I'm happy she did this. So it's five bars in the Harvest Collection. This is not in the catalog. So this is a limited time offer. So let's talk about it. First time smelling these. I have not even at all opened these or smelled them. So I'm just gonna go as I grab, I'm just going to read them off as I grab them here. First one, Cinnamon Woods. Cinnamon Woods, Bartlett pear and cinnamon bark bring the spice to a fantasy forest of sugared woods. I will warm these in the next week. Like I'll be, I'm gonna be locked in my kitchen next week cooking and baking for my daughter's party. We have a caterer, but we still, my family, we make our traditional things. So I'll be warming these as I'm locked in the house all week. It's very similar to something else. I feel like it's similar to something that's in my club that I have from last year. I don't really like pear, but I don't really get pear. I get that cinnamon bark and woodsy scent. So if you're not a pear lover, like I'm not, this is a good one. You get the cinnamon bark and the woodsy. Maybe the pear will come out on warm. Things transition on warm. Next is sparkling spiced citrus. Sparkling spiced citrus. Sparkling mandarin dazzles among black currant, raw sugar cane, and a dash of clove bud. I do not like currant at all, and I'm not big on clove. So let's see what happens. You definitely get that mandarin. First thing that pops out is the mandarin. Yeah, on the bottom, I'm getting that currant, that black currant and the clove. So I have to warm it. Next is peaks and pines. Mountain tops lush with dewy greens and lavender. I gotta put my glasses on. And lavender rise up over towering cedar wood. I love green scents. I like this a lot. It's not, uh, the lavender is more of an herbal -y, not herbal herbal, but it's not a sweet lavender. I'm trying to pop it out. If I could get it out, there we go. It's pretty, I like it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna really like it on warm. I like this a lot, it's different. So as I do, as I warm them, I'll be posting on my Facebook, like picture and with the notes and I'll be back with warm reviews in a video. Berry apple shortbread, this one interests me. This sounds up my alley. I love bakery, I love apple, I love berries. This is freshly baked berry, perfectly complements comforting vanilla blended with lemon and a pinch of clove. Where's the apple part? There's, there's nothing about apples in the notes. Let me read this again. Fresh baked berry perfectly complements comforting vanilla blended with lemon and a pinch of clove. Lemon? It says berry apple shortbread. Where's the apple? That's really weird to me. Okay. We'll, we'll go with it. Doesn't say anything about apples. Talks about lemons and berries and clove. Come on, pop out. There we go. I get the berries and the lemons. Why are you calling it berry apple? There's, I don't smell any apple. I get the clove. I get the lemon. I get the berry. 
Okay, I have to warm this. I hope I love it on warm. It's okay to me right now, but I hope I love it on warm. Last is apple spice season. Baskets of juicy apple and harvest pumpkin. Stay ripe all season long with a touch of sparkling spices. It's pretty red. I like this. This is nice. Ooh, the bottom. What am I getting on the bottom? The pumpkin. It's very pumpkin on the bottom. The top is the apple. The bottom is the pumpkin and the spices. I like it. This might be a good blender to add a little bit of bakery to that. So these are our harvest collection. I will be back with warm reviews soon. Soon. Maybe, maybe the day after my daughter's party or if I could get everything done like the day before. We'll see how it goes, but I'll do my best to get warm reviews out to you as soon as I can. If I don't do it before her, before next Saturday, I'll try to jump on on Sunday because I really want to give warm reviews of those. And then I grabbed the 10 new scents. So let's talk about them. First time I'm sniffing, I'm just taking them right now out of the box. I'm going to pull these all out. Okay. For this, I have my catalog open to the 10 new scents, new releases. I'm not going in alphabetical order. I'm just going to grab. First one, white peach and cranberry. White peach and cranberry, a juicy bite of fresh picked white peach with a tart of cranberry. I think I could read that without my glasses. Let's see. My glasses are so dirty. They're always dirty. Okay. Pretty. Really pretty. I like this peach. The peach is really pretty. It's not the cat urine peach. I think I like this. I kind of like Sensi's peach. Like I'm loving the peach and grapefruit mimosa bar all summer. I've been warming that and I love it. This is really pretty. I like this a lot. With the cranberry, really nice. So that's white peach and cranberry. Next is Alpine Escape. Uh, a rush of minty air among spruce and evergreen trees on a scenic mountain getaway. Pretty green. I like this. Very woodsy. I like this one. Yeah, really pretty. Not pretty, just I like it. Different, perfect winter, like on a snow day. I like it a lot. Very tree. If you don't like tree and evergreen, you, you won't like this bar. Okay, next. Gingerbread pecan waffles is the one I was most excited for of the 10 new releases. I have to put my glasses on even though they're dirty. Okay. Savor all day breakfast with warm and fluffy gingerbread waffles topped with molasses and roasted pecans. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I'm loving that. But I love pumpkin pecan waffles. It doesn't say pumpkin pecan waffles. It just says pecan waffles. No, it says gingerbread waffles. But I feel like I get pumpkin. Do we have pumpkin in here? No, it's the molasses and the pe roasted pecans. This is really nice. I like this a lot. I'm really excited for that one. Vanilla Amber. I'm really hoping I love this one. Vanilla Amber. Rich vanilla cream and a golden amber infused with sweet rum and a piece of pastry perfection. It's nice. I like it. 
I like it. Cindy, if you're watching, I think you would like this one. Okay, next, Cherry Chestnut. Warm black cherry topped with roasted chestnuts and whipped vanilla is in a sweet and savory delight. Is a sweet and savory delight. So light. I mean, I get like a little bit of cherry and chestnut, but this bar is light, like I can hardly, hardly smell it. Next, hay rides. Hay rides. Climb aboard fresh hay and cedar wood and take a ride through crisp apple orchards in this ode to a joyful autumn tradition. Semper snoring, if you hear him, I'm sorry. That's nice. I like it. I hope it gets stronger when I warm it. On the bottom, stronger. Interesting. Very interesting. It does smell like fresh hay. Like if you walk into a barn, you do get that vibe. Like I think they nailed it. I hope it smells on warm, like on as it does on cold, because I like that scent. It's different. I don't know if my friends and my family would appreciate the smell of that, but I love those kinds of scents. Next is leaves and lavender. Leaves and lavender. Soothing lavender and a hint of clove wrapped up in fall leaves invite you to relax. I don't know if I like this one. I don't like this one at all on cult. Like I don't I don't even know if I'd want I don't like this one. So this might be my least favorite so far. Pistachio Woods. Pistachio Woods. Delicate pistachio and buttery almond on a bed of cedar wood. Hmm. Pistachio and cedarwood. I get more of the pistachio on the bottom and the cedarwood on top, but I don't know if I'm crazy about it. I have to warm it. It's okay. Got to sometimes, even when we do our lives with the Bring Back My Bar, when we do the 25 Bring Back My Bars. My bottom five, sometimes a few of them end up to be my top favorites and end up in my club. Have to warm them. I've learned that with Scentsy. A few I did not like at all, I end up loving on warm. And I'm happy about that. Balsam Spice. Balsam Spice. Captivating cinnamon adds sweet spice to charred cedar and balsam. A lot of cedar going on here. Pretty green. It's pretty. I feel like it's like every tree, like the, it's very similar to other tree scents we get. I think maybe these bars need to sit a little bit too. Okay, next, brown butter pumpkin. Whip up a batch of seasonal spice, mixing melted butter, brown sugar with pumpkin for a tempting treat. Brown butter pumpkin. Sit like that sounds like something I would love. It's so light. These must be fresh pours. That's really light. Got five left. Apple spice season. Oh, wait. No, those are the harvest collection. We did those. I'm done. I did all 10. All right, so my two standouts 
or gingerbread pecan waffles and vanilla amber. These are the two so far on cold that I like the most. And um, leaves and lavender, my least favorite. I don't even know if I can warm this bar. Um, what else? So that's pretty much it. So starting on Sunday, our new catalog starts. Again, if you don't have a consultant, message me on Facebook. I will have, just give me your email and I will upload you, upload to your email for you a copy of the new catalog. Um, oh, we have, I have wax everywhere. <laughs> wax is all over the place. And um, any questions, comment below. I'd be happy to help you. I will leave my Facebook page. Come and join us. Um, yeah, if you want to open up a party link, go to your consultant, open a party link so you earn all the rewards. You get all the free points, free product credit. If you don't have a consultant and you want me to open a party link for you, you can casually open it up and leave it open as long as you want, as long as you're purchasing like so much every couple of months since, you know, just to have action on it. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Everybody have a great weekend. Happy Friday. Be safe. Love you guys. Bye.